Details are unfolding about a cause of a deadly crash that left multiple people injured and one young woman dead. We're learning the alleged driver should have never been behind the wheel after getting his license revoked because of a previous DUI conviction. The family is now speaking to us after discovering the driver behind that vehicle was allegedly under the influence of both drugs and alcohol. Cardio News Channel 13's Barbara Fox is live at the intersection of Pueblo Boulevard and Lee Avenue with more of what investigators uncovered. Barbara. Court documents show that 21-year-old Frankie Baca Jr. was allegedly driving that white Lexus ES that crashed into multiple vehicles at this intersection behind me. And now Michaela Gallegos' family and friends are now speaking out about their frustrations against the consequences of drinking and driving. You still sometimes I catch him looking out the window to see if she's coming home. He cries for her and stuff. Four-year-old Zayden is now left without a mom after she was killed in a deadly car accident. She was his only parent. Um, Zayden has autism. He was diagnosed when he was two. And she took him for that test, wanted to go all by herself to take him because it was important to her. They were very, very close. She was a great mom. She was very patient. She was a better mom than I was. The morning of September 10th, 2022, 23-year-old Michaela Gallegos was still out with friends. We had a couple drinks. We were home because I had my kids, so we really didn't do anything. We were just hanging out at my house. Four months later, family and friends are still mourning, with pictures and candles still lit in her mother's home. My whole life has been ripped out. From, I mean, there's no worse. They say you can't even imagine losing a child. There's nothing worse. And I have my grandson, he keeps me strong. The Alpha David states, based on the investigation, Baca was allegedly driving at speeds of 96 miles per hour, just moments from where the accident happened. That's over 50 miles per hour over the speed limit. My biggest thing is why was he going so fast? I'm no saint, I've done things in my life, but I can't imagine ever drinking and getting behind a wheel going 90 something miles an hour. The last thing I said to my daughter when she was walking down that sidewalk in front of my house that night was the same thing I said to these girls every time they were out. I love you. Please be safe. Don't drink and drive. Call me if you need a ride. Baca is now booked at the Pueblo County Jail on a $100,000 bond. His next court date is scheduled for January 26th. Reporting live in Pueblo, Barbara Fox, KRDO, News Channel 13.